Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where honestly today was my favourite day of trading since the original drop down on this market on the 12th of November. Today was an absolute joy to be trading. Um, you know, this is why I love it. I live for these moments and, uh, you know, absolutely really, really fun. And today I'm going to be covering in this video Bitcoin, Ethereum and EOS for you all. So I really do hope you enjoy. I'm going to be keeping it quick and snappy, but hopefully full of information uh, because I am sat in trading trades as it stands but I had a lot of requests from people to make the video so I thought you know 10-15 minutes I'll take them out and I'll make this video as quick as I can um, so hope, really hope you enjoy it and appreciate me taking the time uh, and without further ado let's go after you know remember the day the 18th of November the 18th of November 18th of February 2019 one of the favorite days for me of trading um so why was this such a good day? Okay, so let's cover here what we've got. Okay, and I've seen a lot of people taking out that FOMO and injecting that in. Okay, really injecting that FOMO today because it has been real. Okay, it's been real. Um, and if you had FOMO, it would have, um, you know, so uh, um, ironically worked out okay. But <laughs> you know, let's let's go over here. Okay, so I'm going to be starting on the bigger term time frame. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these things on the chart, but just show you what I've got highlighted here. Okay, so what we what we have been forming here on Bitcoin, obviously on the bigger term time frame, lower highs, lower high, lower high. We have the potential. I don't want to spoil the party here, but we do have a potential of another lower high. Okay, so as um, I just want to say to you on the bigger term time frame, yes, we're up massively on the day. Okay, really, really great profits for longs. You know, lovely day of longs, but you have to remember on the bigger term time frame we do have the potential of just forming another lower high okay so don't try and fomo at the you know where we are right now we are hitting big resistances okay um, so firstly, I just wanted to say that, the, you know, this lower high is, is a big um, area for me that we, you know, a potential of just falling down here, although the FOMO is real. Um, what else have we seen today? We have seen the Fibonacci level of the 236 finding our first rejection. Where am I getting this fib from? Where we started the breakdown on the 12th of November, okay, and where we, where we dropped all the way down to uh, on the 15th of November, 15th of December, apologies, um, of 3,121, okay, 3,121 was our low, uh, taking that fib from the, from the high down to the low that gives us these fib levels which are going to be acting as resistance as you will know we have had one rally uh come that coming down by a drop down okay rally a abc essentially this for me ended as, as an abc truncated although i haven't been trading off of elliott waves too much recently you know that was our original rally that ended here and that gave us our nice resistance trend line okay from there we had our resistance trend line that drew, drew down as you all know from this low to the high we found resistance well, we found support we found support at the 786 fibonacci level what else did, what help else helped aid support Firstly, we had the falling wedge here as well. We had this falling wedge, typical, you know, technical analysis, falling wedge break upwards. So we had the falling wedge here. We also had the 200 weekly moving average on the weekly. OK, obviously, 200 weekly moving average on Bitcoin. Uh, just, you know, a confluence of reasons to find support. Um, that you know obviously that was the reason of breaking up here okay so we had the the, the wedge the 200 weekly moving average the 786 coming together finding nice support okay so what has happened since then today we have broken above this resistance trend line and that's for me really big okay really big for the bulls to finally break above a, a resistance trend line uh, it's been a, a while, but they've they've done it. And now what we want to see, okay, what we want to see is this area is really big resistance, okay, really from 3,900 up to 4,130. This is a big resistance area. Um, but what would be nice now is if they if this resistance trend line flips into support, we can sort of come down, find support on this resistance, old resistance flip to support trend line potentially, um, and then find support and, and move on from here. Okay, that's that's what I am going to be looking at over the next say twenty four hours to see if this is hold as, held as support. If it is, absolutely brilliant. Okay. We also have a, a secondary support of around, you know, 3,780, uh, 3,780 moving down to around 3,680. So there is lower support if that trend line can't be held. Um, if you are interested in buying a dip, uh, you know, I'm trading this market long and short. I'm just have zero bias, <laughs> really zero bias and just trading where the potential's there and where the setup's there. Um, so that's Bitcoin. That's what I wanted to cover really quickly for you all. Uh, still making lower highs on the daily. Uh, let's see if this 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 trend line can flip into support if we if it flips into support that's very bullish okay um and you would be looking to buy dips um but let, let's see how that goes first obviously we need time to to really see uh, what's going to be going on here what else did we have going on okay breaking through that let's just see da, 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 da. i was going to highlight here 
uh, obviously this the 618 Fibonacci let's see if we can you just see how this lines up really nicely now so we have the trend line and let's see if we can come back and test 618 um, around 3825 as potential another potential support there um, I think that's everything on Bitcoin that I wanted to cover. Um, I've probably missed so much stuff that I thought I was going to say in this video. Um, but uh, I'm going to move on because, yeah, as I said earlier, I'm, I am in trades at the moment. And um, you want to keep this swift. So the next trade that I'm going to cover is one that I went over in great detail in my members stream. OK, so I covered this in great detail on my avid, avid student stream. And the trade that I took, you can feel free to pause this and read why I originally took a t short here. OK, and this was from a tr the, the parallel channel. OK, so pause if you would like. If not, I'm moving on. So what Ethereum was in, we were in a trend, you know, this channel, a parallel channel for 188 days. OK, 188 days we were within the channel. OK, so I originally took a short position on Ethereum on around these candles. OK, this candle, I was taking a short position on Ethereum. OK, because as you can see, this is a rejection from the top of the, you know, the top of this parallel channel and equaling a very good risk to reward ratio short here. OK, as you all know. I closed out of this this short position. Prices hit first. Take my my targets were 122, 114, and this was all trading from the parallel channel. Okay, what happened is we closed outside of the parallel channel. This is bullish. <laughs> we closed outside of a parallel channel for the first time in 190 days. Okay, so for 190 days within the parallel channel on Ethereum, and I really do think Ethereum brought up the the rest of the market. Okay, so we closed outside of the parallel channel for the first time in 190 days. I closed out of my short hit. That was was invalidating why I entered into a short. Okay, this invalidated. I entered into the short because of this parallel channel. I closed for a small profit. Okay, great, closed for the profit. But it invalidated my setup, and this invalidated the short setup. And you know, this was the potential of looking for longs once resistance starts to break. Okay. You know, resistance, obviously, you had a few different ones. Really, $136 was a strong resistance, and also $127 originally, that was a strong resistance. Um, $136, though, for me, was the, you know a, a really strong resistance level that we were looking at because it was a monthly resistance level. Uh, and obviously, we, we broke above $136, closed above $136 on the weekly, the daily, and the four-hour all last night. And that was definitely the signal to be longing without a doubt on Ethereum, okay? You would have been really silly to not be longing Ethereum at that point. Um, and this is why yesterday made me made me laugh a little bit that you know here I was saying the close above one hundred thirty six dollars are very is very bullish okay and since then we've had another you know ten percent move up today um, and then I had a reply how are you bullish this is the end of the move and we are hitting now hitting resistance um, you know no offense to you howsy like no offense at all um, but you know this is where hopefully you can take this as a lesson that you know. If you close above a monthly resistance, that is then taking that resistance and using it as support, okay? And breaking above $136 and closing upon it last night was extremely bullish, okay? That's extremely bullish holding that as support. Breaking above it and then holding it as support is extremely bullish. And you would be silly to try and short that, in my opinion. You really had to be taking the longs on Ethereum yesterday when that happened. And if you were, were then you are sat in extremely nice profits. Um, and, you know, that was one that I posted yesterday just, you know, just showing, you know, that, 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 that that's the resistance, 136. Close above that like we actually did. We did. So this was 18 hours ago. We closed above that with the weekly, the daily and the, the, and the uh, four hour. Um, so very, very bullish. And since there, we just had, had had more continuation. And in my opinion, this stems all from this candle closing outside of the 100 day parallel, 190 day parallel channel, close outside for the first time in 190 days, and we just see 20% upwards movement of continuation. Okay, this is when it pays to really know what to be watching on the charts. And when, you know, obviously I was in a short, this invalidated the short getting out of the short. Okay, you need to know as a trader when to, you know, when to enter positions and when to exit positions. Okay. Uh, really really key part of trading um, and that for me was that and lastly I'm going to cover EOS because you know what 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 a uh, trade this is I mean really we were obviously within this parallel uh, sorry ascending triangle for 51 days 60 um, I want to say 51 uh, 52 days uh, yeah actually 51 because we broke out I know I've covered this and I sometimes forget the amount of days but 51 days and this is one that I all brought your attention to so 51 days we were within the ascending triangle okay what happened we broke out of the ascending triangle okay broke out of the ascending triangle come back down held this triangle as support so this is a, a buy okay a hundred percent every time buy you break out of a triangle you come down test that old resistance as support you buy here okay 100 percent. especially seeing that it's the 618 just adds to it but this is a buy signal okay you all know that i took profits here 
as we were coming up and hitting the 200 daily moving average okay the 200 yeah it was the 200 daily we obviously come up hit the daily 200 daily moving average that is a signal to take profits okay and obviously from there we had a you know about a five percent pullback uh yeah so in total the pullback was about seven percent um but what you see here is actually the price was being held up very nicely uh, by this sort of trend line where we just was holding price support really nicely and obviously that is now take you know taken off kind of ended with a fade out today i'm not going to lie it's kind of ending with a fade out but this is related to bitcoin how bitcoin is also pulling back now uh ethereum breaking top top resistance but essentially ending in a fade out um so that's just something to be careful of but you know this was just a, a, a i wanted to cover eos because it's just been an amazing journey with that <laughs> um you know ethereum to say bitcoin now i'm just yeah keeping my eye on how, how this pullback comes along now whether we pull back to the trend line and hold it as support or if we just don't uh let's just say we come back down and hold, you know i went covered the, the supports earlier very briefly uh i guess i can give you one more that we could potentially be holding here uh let's just see uh yeah these fibonacci oh look at that the, the 382 here lining up very nicely with horizontal support as well um so there's definitely support on the way down but there's no need to get carried away um Although I'm like super excited and super happy, I hope I don't like make you FOMO or anything like this. I hope that this video has helped you give perspective, knowing that we are still in the, you know, obviously in a, in a macro uh, downtrends. We are still potentially forming another lower high here even. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely space. You need to know when to be a bull and when to be a bear, essentially. You should never hold an overall bias. It would be very easy to hold biases uh, and say, oh, it comes here, I'm shorting. It comes here, I'm shorting. It comes here, I'm shorting. Um, but you want to be like trading in the moment and, and not holding overall biases. You only short when your setup's there and you long when a setup's there. You don't walk away from long opportunities because you're in a bearish market, if that makes sense. Um, you just look at every trade as it comes comes along, hold zero biases and take every single trade 100% of the time if there is a setup, okay? You strive for the setups and when they're there, you take them. It doesn't matter. You should hold no bias of being a bull or a bear. You just trade every setup that comes along, okay? And that's going to help you greatly overall when you're as a trader, okay? L learn from those words. If you if you take anything, learn from those. Do not be a bull or a bear. Just trade with, trade with the, what the charts tell you okay um so yeah that's everything that i wanted to cover i believe uh horizontally i'm now looking at this sort of resistance cluster uh for me really big resistance um you know in this cluster from around well i guess i have to take the 236 so really 3900 up to 4130 you know we're seeing really big resistances in these sort of levels okay so yeah be careful of that but you know there's there's the momentum for sure is with the bulls right now the momentum is with the bulls but that doesn't mean you should be scared to take uh short positions when did when the setup's there okay um, so yeah, that's that's uh, about everything. You know, really, really quick video today, but I'm super, super busy. Um, but I hope you, that you've all appreciated appreciated this video and, and hopefully taken something from it. Um, I hope you've not taken any of this video as bragging either. This video was not is not a bragging sort of video. Um, it's, but just yeah, hopefully you've taken something from it and you know learned 200 votes. Most people are laddering into shorts. Okay, interesting. This was a quick vote by the dip or ladder shorts. So most people uh, are laddering shorts. Um, you know, respectable. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I'm waiting to see what happens with this trend line. But um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow. Thank you everybody so much. Peace out. Love you all. Cheers. <laughs>